Mr. Jones. Hello, Mr. Jones. My name is Dr. Oldham. Mr. Jones, are you awake? Mr. Jones, can you say something? Um, I need to make sure that you're awake. You're going to feel some pressure here. Hey there, you're going to feel some pressure. Are you awake? Here we have our patient, Mr. Jones. Before I arrived, his nurse mentioned to me that he hasn't taken anything by mouth in the past 24 hours, which is withdrawal. But his vital signs have been normal. Right now, we can see he is barely responding, even to an aversive stimulus. This is immobility. There's no posturing at this time because he's not holding any part of his body up against gravity. He is moving his nose and lips repeatedly. That's grimacing. Beyond this, though, I haven't seen any other abnormal movements, so no stereotypies or mannerisms at this time. It's also important to realize that even though he is minimally responsive, patients with catatonia often retain awareness of what's going on around them, and when they improve, they often report that they were anxious while catatonic. So we need to make sure we explain what we're doing and remain respectful. Give me your full name. You're going to feel me try to open your eyes. Open your eyes. You don't seem to be letting me do that. He clearly has mutism. Next, if his unresponsiveness were strictly neurological, his eyelids should be flaccid and we should be able to open them. So this is a clear example of negativism. He's resisting my attempts to open his eyes. We can check this in other muscle groups as well, which we will see next in his neck. All right, you're gonna feel me turn your head. You're gonna feel me turn your head. Very good, very good. You seem like you're not letting me do that either right now. I'm going to pick up your right arm. Just relax. Here. When I let it go, let it fall back to your bed. Okay? Um, relax your arm. Let me move it around. You'll feel some pressure on your palm. All right. No grasp reflex. Um, okay. Well, I feel like the harder I pull, the harder you're pulling me. All right. Go ahead and put that back to rest here. So first off, there was no tonic resistance when I began to lift his arm, which means that he doesn't have waxy flexibility, at least in this arm. Next, the tone with flexion is normal, as with internal and external rotation, but on extension, there is resistance to passive movement, and it's proportional to the amount of force I'm applying. That's Gegenhalten. I wouldn't call this rigidity because the resistance occurs only during a portion of the arc of movement. I'm going to go down and examine your right leg. I'm going to try to bend this leg. Kind of stiff as a board. 
I'm gonna bend, I'm gonna bend your ankles. Well, you seem kind of stiff too. I feel like I can pick you up off the bed with one leg. Can you relax? Here we see rigidity in both of his legs and even in his hip girdle muscles. We would score rigidity as severe even though his muscle tone in his arms was normal. As we continue, notice his hand movement. Mr. Jones, can you relax? I notice that you've started tapping your belly. Does your belly hurt? Now that's an example of stereotypy, or repetitive, non-goal-directed motion. If it happened once or twice, it would look normal. It's only abnormal in that he's continued to do it. A mannerism, on the other hand, would be bizarre even if it were done only once or twice. I'm going to examine this leg the same way we did the other one. Let me bend it. I don't think that we're going to be able to. Okay. Well, I'm on your left side here. Let me examine this arm. When I let it go, let it fall back down. All right. Well, that seems pretty loose. Let me rotate this. Um, you're going to feel some pressure on your palm. Yeah, no grasp reflex here either. Now let me, yeah, same kind of stiffness over here. The harder I pull, it's like you're pulling me back. This arm has the same finding of Gegenhalten as we saw in his other arm. And there's no catalepsy. He's not maintaining any positions I put his arm in. Next, we'll check for Mitgehen. Um, stick your arm straight out. Do not let me lift your arm. Do not let me lift your arm. Okay. You can see that, whereas I can push his arm with some force against gravity, it's like a dead weight. It certainly is not moving up with light pressure, as we would see with Mitgehen. Shake my hand. Mr. Jones, shake my hand. All right, um, do not shake my hand. All right, well, I think that concludes our exam today. I appreciate your time. You can see here that he exhibits no automatic obedience or ambitendency. At this point, I see none of the other items on the Bush Francis Catatonia rating scale. As we conclude, let's again review the catatonic features we've seen. Mutism, grimacing, stereotypy, rigidity, negativism, withdrawal, and Gegenhalten. You'll see additional features of catatonia in the exams of the other two standardized patient training videos.